Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to demonstrate the new feature, a new feature in uh, Photoshop Elements 2018's organizer called Audio Curate. It's up here in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And when I do, notice I get a message here. Auto curation can be applied to a maximum of 20,000 photos. Well, going down here to the lower left hand corner, I see that uh, it's indicated that I have 14,534 items in this catalog. It's under 20,000, but apparently it's too large for auto curate to deal with. So I'm going to click OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to help or help myself uh, select a certain number of pictures using smart tags. Now previously I have set the preferences to uh, keep track of and, or to analyze automatically for smart tags. Let me show you what I mean. Click on edit on the menu bar down in preferences auto analysis or media analysis and you can see that I have analyze media for smart tags and auto curate turned on but I don't have and this is my personal preference I do not have run face recognition automatically I have that turned off this is the way I normally use elements I find that uh, I don't need auto face recognition so that's it. So I'm going to click OK. And it's given me a, a message here that uh, says that my external editing application is pointing to an invalid path. Well, that's irrelevant for what we're doing. So I'm going to ignore that. OK, so um, let's just go ahead and cancel out of this. I do have the auto analysis for smart tags has already been turned on previously. So now I'm going to use it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to search that blue dot up there that has a magnifying glass. Click on it. And you can see along the left hand side there's all kinds of icons for various ways to select uh, the pictures. I'm going to click Smart Tags. So I click on it. And now, just scrolling through you can see the various automatically selected pictures that um, Elements has found based on the visual content. For example, let's take a look here at sunrises. I don't know how it can tell sunrise from a sunset. At this part of the world I normally get sunsets and not sunrises. But let's go ahead and click that because it thinks pictures are actually sun sunrises. So I'm going to click there and now all of the pictures that Elements thinks are sunsets are kind of displayed and as I go through here you will see that many of them maybe most of them aren't of the sunset or a sunrise at all but that's okay I'll use that uh, as my starting point so once you have a group of pictures that you have selected, in my case, from smart uh, tags, you can go back and view those pictures on the grid, in the normal grid view. So I'll do that. Now we're back into the normal organizer uh, window, and it is showing all of the items that match smart tag sunrise. Now what I can do here is I will use auto curate to help me select the best ones. How I start that off is I click on Auto Curate. And now Auto Curate has automatically out of the uh, 208 that it felt were sunrises, it selected the 50 best ones. Also you can reduce or increase the number 50 that the auto curator uh, selected by moving the slider left or right as shown in the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to select a few. 
notice I get a good start on that because many that it thought was good I had previously flagged myself with a star rating of some sort think or meaning that I thought they were good for some reason myself maybe for a project I was doing okay so now now that I'm in the main um, grid window I can go and select these or certain ones of these and uh, make a project from them let's say I want to put some of the best of these into an album so that's what I'm going to do now I'm going to go in start selecting them okay let's say those are the ones I like the best and I want to make an album of them so I have them selected you can see those that are selected up here I'm going to make a new album over here where it says albums make sure our albums are showing I'm going to click on the plus sign to make a new album and as you can see the seven that I selected now have been identified as an album and I can put this into a category of albums and let's see what category I have available to me if any of them make sense none really do well here's a spe let's put this into a special project album group or a category of albums I'll name the album now and call it um, auto curate demo uh, actually I want to make that a little bit more uh, PSE 2018 auto curate demo so that's going to be the name of my album it's going to be in the special projects click OK okay so now I'm going to go back and look at all of my media I can see all my media being shown because it says all media here and it's showing first newest first in other words the latest shot dates are first at the very top if I tap on home that's the very last picture actually this is a project and a video a couple videos but the very last picture I put in is over here somewhere okay so now let's go ahead and look at that album going down here to um, special projects group these are my video projects um, let's see if I can hear special projects group of special projects here it is right here okay there is the uh, seven pictures I chose using auto curate right now they're in the order of newest first meaning this was the latest date shot but normally when I work with albums I put them into projects I make a video or slideshow or something I want them in to be viewed in album order so I've put on album order here but um, I can tell that by each picture has a number in the upper left hand corner viewing the album in this particular way album order I can drag and drop these particular pictures in any order I want to let's go ahead and drag this one whoops I double clicked on it let's back off a bit and still looking at it right album order make it a little bigger so we see the numbers here we go album order and you can see I'm dragging this picture from its last position now it's in going to be the first position so now if I use this in this group this album and the slideshow or some other way they're going to be grouped in the order that you see them here and so just to kind of complete this demo I will click on media go back to all media and there I'm back just looking at the uh, entire catalog that I have with all my 15,000 pictures here if I scroll through okay this pretty much concludes the demonstration on how to use the auto curate command right up here in Photoshop Elements 2018 hope you enjoyed watching and hope you come back again and watch future videos that I will be doing thanks a lot